news tonight, the search for a serial killer has landed this man in custody. Police are calling 34-year-old D'Angelo Martin a person of interest in the murders of three women on the east side. They picked him up in the area of Seven Mile in Gratiot after putting the community on alert about their search for him around 5 o'clock this evening. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper is live with a major break in the case. Rudy, what's happening? Well, Glenda, police took him into custody at a bus stop. Witnesses there say several DPD officers were at the scene. We also spoke to Martin's aunt tonight. She had this message for families of his alleged victims. To the families, I apologize. There are not words that can come out of my mouth that could feel the sorrow and the pain that you're feeling. And I don't understand, but I'm trying to understand. And may God be with you and bless you. Bless you. A sign of relief across Detroit as suspected serial murderer and rapist D'Angelo Martin is now off the streets. Police took him into custody at this bus stop around 7.30 tonight near Gresham and Seven Mile. Martin's aunt spoke to us over the phone. She tells me their family is devastated and grieves with the families of his alleged victims. I'm going to keep the family in my prayers. I will pray for them, their mothers, their sisters, and their brothers. I will pray for them. Mm -hmm. And please forgive him because God, only God has the right to give a life and only God has the right to take a life. You know, nobody deserves to die in this manner. The brother of Nancy Harrison says his sister was brutally murdered in March. Her body was found dumped in a vacant house near East State Fair on the city's east side. My reaction to the arrest, I got chills. I got chills. He says he's never stopped searching for her killer. I hope that you have plenty of time to think about what you did. And for the first time, we are learning about a possible motive for Martin's aunt. One word, drugs. And Martin's aunt told me he chooses to be homeless. At last checked, he's still in DPD custody. Live at police headquarters, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. All right, Rudy, thank you for the update there.